Ooh. Mm. Yep. Aero 2019 is drawing to a close, and since we have so many new gliders this year, I thought it would be fair to go over them and pick my favourites. This is a new episode of Flying Sign. Hello and welcome back. Um, Today is something quite a bit different. Um, as this channel is still quite new, I thought it would be nice to try some things out. And today, we're looking at everything that happened in Friedrichshavet this year. Because um, we've heard about a lot of new gliders, and uh, we're just going to discuss them all. And uh, I want to hear your thoughts as well. So let me know in the comment sections what you think, as we'll go over them one by one. So let's start with one of the big ones. Alexander Schleicher is announcing a whole new airplane, the AS-34ME. And as they are saying, it is a self-launching standard class sailplane with electric drive. Now, now first at electric drive, I think that um, all glider manufacturers are sort of going to either front electric, electric sustainers or to electric drive. And I think um, yeah, that's good development. But what is interesting about this glider is that it's a whole new market, I presume, because we don't have any self-launching standard class airplanes as of yet. I think it would be interesting to see how it would change the market that we have currently because the LS8 and the Discus 2 are both in their 20s and um, yeah we'll have to see if, if performance goes up with this glider and if, uh, if a self-launching glider would be good in the standard class I think it might be too heavy but we have to see. Another interesting point that uh, Adam Bulli made is that um, the standard class might become very expensive. We see now that gliders like the Ventus 3 uh, or the JS3 are, are really high up in price and the standard class is really still an affordable competitive class and I think the AS34 might change that but we have to see that in the future. Now staying with Alexander Schleicher uh, I thought they would show us a bit more of the AS33. Uh, they didn't yet. Uh, for those who don't know the AS33 is supposed to compete with both the JS3 and the Ventus 3 um, but we haven't seen the prototype yet. I'm hearing rumors that a prototype is, um, is on its way, that they're nearly finished, but um, I don't have the answer. And I really would have hoped that, um, that we would see more in error because this is the glider I'm most excited about. I'm just really excited to see if uh, Alexander Schleicher can take all the knowledge from the 29 and put it in the 33. So on to Schemperth and their new Arcus. Uh, as you can imagine, I was quite excited about the Arcus. Uh, if you haven't seen the video I made about the Arcus, I'll link it right here. So, Schemperth updated the Arcus and just to go over these updates uh, from the top of my head, new winglets, new tailplane, uh, completely redesigned cockpit, garages for the buck wipers, an electrically retractable gear, new motor instrument. Is there more? There's obviously more. I'm, I'm forgetting a lot of things here. But uh, I think it's a smart move that they're updating the Arcus. Uh, it's 10 years old, by no means an old product yet, but I do think um, that it's a nice update and I think it will be um, good for Arcus and, and for Schemperth as well. Oh, and one thing I did forget to mention is that they increased the wing loading. So the maximum takeoff weight is now at 850 uh, if they do all the certification. And I think that's going to be one of the significant points, uh, definitely in competition flying, but also in South Africa, sometimes you want the, the highest wing loading. And I think the new one, being able to go up to that 850 is um, is going to have an advantage. What I'm interested in to see is how good the ASG 32 is. Uh, I mean, it was the world champion of last year, but then again, it was Sebastian Cava uh, who was flying the um, the ASG 32. So um, we have to see what the Argus does, but in general, I'm really excited about this glider and um, I hope to fly it in the future. Now, another point that I wanted to raise is um, also because we see the AS34 coming in and this update with the Arcus, is if they could do maybe the same thing with the Discus. Um, as you might know, I'm a big fan of the Discus. We have a Discus 2B at our club. And uh, of course, these, these Ventus 3 style type of winglets that are, that are further, further back, um, I think they could do the same thing with the Discus. Still, the 2A is, is the glider that you want in the standard, in the standard class, but um, 
it might be something to do in the future. So I'm interested to see how that will develop. So on to another big one, Jonker sailplanes from South Africa. Um, I must confess, I, I expected something new and we didn't really see something new. They brought a JS-1 and a JS-3, I think. And um, later, later in the week, we did see some images of the JS-2, probably having that same high wing as the JS-3 has, which by the way, I think is absolutely wonderful. Um, but I was hoping there would be a JS-4. Again, the rumor is that this would be the new standard class glider. So a lot of developments in the standard class. But um, yeah, we still have to wait for it. So, uh, and I think the JS2, we'll see it later on. I think you know, we all saw the survey that they sent into the gliding community to see what the JS2 should be. And um, yeah, I think, I think we'll see the JS2 in, uh, in very short time. On to the last one, and it's a bit of a fun one. It is the Blanik L23NG. Um, basically an old Blanik, but then with huge winglets, that's the first thing that you notice. But um, yeah, they're updating the Blanik. I think uh, it's, it's a trend now to update all gliders, but um, yeah, it's what Blanik is doing. I just wanted to share this because I think the images look interesting. Um, and I'm really wondering if, if this will be the glider that we'll see in 60 years all over Eastern Europe um, used uh, as a trainer. Uh, I'm just really excited to see uh, what you think on this. So let me know what you think of the Blanik. Let me know what you think of all the other gliders that we discussed. If you like these type of videos, let me know as well, because maybe you'll do something more in the future. And if you have any other video ideas, please let me know as well, and I see what I can do. But for now, thank you very much, and see you in the next episode.